it's Karen and Pluto here for Karen and Pluto's Not in the Review channel. Another review, obviously. Really? Really. It's been a long night, guys. We had a little issue here. <laughs> all right. That we need to take care of. We so, got it. all right. So, we're going a little kid friendly with this one. Oh, okay. It's Frozen from 2013. Rated PG, hour and 43 minutes. This could be G. Yeah, honestly, I think it could be. Yeah, yeah. it depends. I mean, there's a lot of death in this. You know, Disney. <laughs> Disney death. <laughs> Let me call it for a band. There Disney you go. Disney death. Um, <laughs> just a little sidebar regarding this movie. I honestly didn't like it that much the first time I saw it. Even I like it. Well, I I was talking about this at work because we got we started the Disney Plus thing when it started on the twelfth. Okay, and we actually watched it that night um, just to kind of check it out, and we knew we wanted to review this for the channel. And I was talking about some talking with this with some coworkers at work the next day, and I had mentioned like how I really wasn't overly excited about this movie when I saw it the first time. Oh, and of course, I thought my one coworker was going to bite my head off. And she goes, "What do you mean?" I said, "Well, I didn't see it till like a year after it came out. I saw it a couple years ago, and I felt it was so hyped up that I didn't. When I saw it, I was kind of like, "What's the big deal?" But I will say because I've watched it a couple times since, including this one. For some reason, watching it the other night, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know. Like I said, I'm a Beauty okay. and the Beast fan, fan at heart. I saw it twice. I liked it twice. Yeah. I'm a Beauty and the Beast fan at heart. So that is like still my all-time favorite story from when I was a child. Disney movie, everything. My favorite Disney so, movie is Force Awakens. Well, yeah, this is true. We can count Star Wars <laughs> with this. So anyways, that was my little right, sidebar go. digress. So let's Come get on. into the movie. So basically, the movie starts out with men singing and chopping ice to make ice cubes basically As we all do. and we meet a young Christoph and Sven I love Sven 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 yeah I can't even talk I love Sven the reindeer Sven or Sven 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 <laughs> you're screwing me up <laughs> so we kind of see them at the beginning and then we cut away to Elsa and Anna Anna I pronounced her name wrong Anna 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 as yeah, children and Anna convinces Elsa to use her magic Excuse me to make it snow. So they're down in one of the <gasps> grand rooms in the castle having a grand old time. And like Elsa accidentally strikes Anna with her magic. Her parents, sh the parents show up or upset. They take the family to meet with a family of trolls that can help basically cure trolls. Anna. That's yeah. a good movie. Rock trolls. Rock trolls. That's a good name for a man. Here we go. So basically, the head troll removes all the memories of the magic and just leaves them like that they were out playing, but has Anna not remember any of Elsa's magic. And he keeps said, saying it was better the head than the heart because with the head, you can remove the memories. Okay. So basically, I'll go with it. Um, the rock troll, the rock. the rock troll guy, because the rock says, the rock's in it. No, not that. Oh. Basically tells um, Elsa that she really needs to learn to control her powers. Oh, like you. Um, oh, yeah, because I'm so powerful. No, your anger. My anger. And, you know, she needs to learn how to control it or she's going to seriously hurt someone. So the parents are basically at the point. They lock down the castle. They decrease the staff in order to try to protect, protect Elsa. And they actually separate the girls into separate <sighs> bedrooms at this point. And Anna doesn't understand why they're not as close and as friend, much friends as they were before. Yep, that's the best thing to do. Separate and them. so the parents are trying to work with Elsa about controlling her powers. They discuss the conceal, don't feel. You what? know, conceal and don't feel. Okay. That's what he, no. That's what the father tells her at one point when he's putting the gloves on. He goes, "What do I always say?" She says, Con "Conceal it, don't feel it," which comes up in the song later on in the movie. Okay, I won't say that. So it goes um, that the girls are aging and everything. Well, her parents, the king and queen of, I forgot the name of the place. Disneyland. <laughs> no, 
I wrote it down later. Oh my god, no, that's Wonder Woman. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Um, anyways, I don't the king and the queen, her, their parents are leaving on a ship. Which, if you've read some of the theory stuff on what you know, you know what I'm talking about here. Nope. Well, the ship ends up wrecking, and her parents presumably die. The ship grounds. Yeah. So they we go up, 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 up. to three years later, and Elsa has become of age. So it's her. She aged quick in three years. Yeah, it's her coronation day, and the castle is opening for this one day for her to become the queen. Is she 18? I don't know if she's 18 or what. Like what? They're just saying she comes of age. Okay. So. Um, she's 13. No. I don't know. So basically, there's this whole musical thing with Anna about being Coronation Day, the doors being open, so on and so forth. And while Anna's out of the castle singing, she runs into Prince Hans. And it's love at first sight. Okay. Next. So um, it kind of the whole thing's awkward. Well, then the bell, bell starts sounding that it's time for the coronation. So they go back to I guess I guess it's a church. That's what it looks like in the movie. And it's basically her cor Elsa's coronation. She has to take her gloves off temporarily to hold this scepter and whatever Why? the other thing is. I don't know. I guess that was part of the thing. So she holds it briefly and then hurry up and puts her gloves back on. And then okay. there's a big party afterwards. So we get to the beginning where there are the formal introductions of Queen Elsa and Press princess on on they're kind of just chatting a little bit and then various people were introduced to them throughout according it and this older gentleman from weiselton that they keep calling weasel town or something Weiselton. yeah he's saying it's weiselton but they keep seeing weasel town or something convenient yeah so um that's just kind of going on um <coughs> Elsa is saying, Elsa and Annie, Annie are, Annie. Annie. oh my god, now I'm chasing, changing names, Chasing. Anna are discussing, like, why things can't always be this way, and Elsa just says they just can't, and won't give, because they can't, yeah, basically, so like you, because I said no, yeah. yeah, Elsa said no, and that's it. Like you. So, um, Anna kind of leaves for a little bit. Her and Hans start hanging out, and they're singing Hans. about love, and Hans proposes, so it's like, oh, it's a Disney movie, love at first sight, and everyone lives happily ever after. Han Solo. No. So, they go to ask Elsa for permission to bless their marriage, and Elsa basically denies the request, saying, you guys just met. So... Anna is trying to reason with Elsa. She pulls off Elsa's glove and Elsa's powers are revealed. So everyone's like, oh my God, she's a witch. It's a sorcery. Everything else. So Elsa ends up running from the kingdom, but in her wake, she ends up freezing the kingdom. And they're not used to that. So um, Elsa kind of takes off to the mountains. Anna's like, you know what? I have to go after her. She leaves Hans in charge. While she tries to go find Elsa and talk to her and bring her back. Everybody knows the story. So, in the next scene, we're cut back to Elsa. And we all know the song, Let It Go, starts playing. Cool song. So, she ends up her twice. building her kingdom of ice during this whole... Kingdom of ice. Musical montage. That's a montage? Musical thing. I mean, because that's what it is. Like, she's singing the song and she's building her own little castle. Oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. Changing her dress. And, like I said, I saw this twice. Yeah. So, we have that whole thing. You know, the cold never bothered me anyway. That's you. No, the cold bothers me sometimes. So, we cut back to Anna, who is still looking for Elsa. And she's not really dressed for the weather. Um, she basically ends up falling off her horse into wet water and freezing. So she finds this um, place, this like um, shop out in the middle of nowhere that's selling um, different, I like they have this very limited winter section, but they have this overwhelming summer section. You like the guy who owns the shop. Yeah. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> So um, she gets her winter gear, and this is when Kristoff arrives again, older. Yep. So he's trying to negotiate stuff, ends up getting kicked out of the store. 
So Kristoff and Sven are west, resting in like this little barn area. Anna goes over and demands that Kristoff takes her to the North Mountain because he mentioned about things going crazy up in the North Mountain. And as they're going, Kristoff is like, why are you chasing your sister? What's going on? And they're discussing everything. You know, and she's saying about falling in love and meeting, getting engaged. And he's like, you're getting engaged to a guy you've known, like, less than a day. She's and, weird. And she, he's asking all these questions, like, what's his eye color? Dreamy. And, you know, typical. What was everything she asked? Or he asked? What size shoe? Oh. And size doesn't matter. Really? Okay, no comment. Yeah. So, um, as they're going... All of a sudden, these wolves show up and start chasing cool. them. And Anna's like trying to call the shots with everything. And Kristoff is like, No, don't, you're not calling the shots. So he at one point throws Anna on top of Sven and tells him to jump. And they basically barely get over this mountain cliff, then the sled falls and explodes. Why does it explode? I don't know. I think it was is just, there gas on I it? think it was just being funny, like, because, you know, car wrecks and everything in movies they fall off the cliff and they explode but i think that's what it was it was just meant to be funny oh. uh. so um anna's like i'll go off on my own i owe you a sled well basically <sighs> sven convinces Kristoff because Kristoff does both voices at times for both of them and yeah, he's weird. this one was like why is he doing that i'm like it's why? just meant to be funny in the movie I guess he has no friends, so, you know... I don't have any friends. So his reindeer talks that. to him. Well, doesn't Moki talk to you out in the kitchen? Who's Moki? The chinchilla. Oh, I don't know. So they end up continuing looking for Elsa, and they eventually run into Olaf. Oh, jeez. Which he doesn't like. I love Olaf. He's all right. He's just kind of. Dude. I like snowmen, so it's like I automatically loved Olaf from the beginning. But um, he he's going on about I love warm hugs, and then he starts singing the song about summer, what he would do during the summertime. And, oh, I like to see him in the summer. And Kristoff is like, um, we need to tell him, and Anna's like, no, don't, don't be mean, don't ruin it for I him. I tell him <laughs> that he would basically melt in the summer. Oh, I tell him. So um, it cuts back to Arendelle. That's the name of the place. And Hans is managing things. Well, Anna's horse arrives back without Anna. So they he arranges a search party to find, go out and find Anna. And the guy from Wesselton, Weaselton, whatever, sends two of his cronies. And basically, long and shorts of it, tells them that Queen Elsa needs eliminated. He doesn't, he doesn't come flat out and say that, but... He's just basically like, if you find the queen, you know what to do. I'd be like, what? <laughs> so eventually they get to where Elsa's huge castle is. Cool place. And Kristoff is it? asking, yeah, what Anna's plan is. And her plan is just to talk to sister and tell her that she needs to bring back Summer. And that's her plan. Her sister won't summer. help hurt her. Cool. So um, they find a staircase after Anna tries to climb the mountain, which is hysterical because she's like, "Why would a staircase be there if you only left alone?" Yeah, that's what something I didn't get, but I guess maybe she might need to go get milk and bread every once in a while. So, oh, she eats. I <laughs> they were show me. Do they? Uh, not really. I mean, they just talk about chocolate and the ones. Yeah, that's eat. funny. <laughs> well, no, they show Anna eating chocolate at the beginning, not the beginning. Well, they're girls. That's all they eat is yeah. chocolate. So, um, once they go up the staircase, Anna asks Kristoff and Olaf to stay outside because she's like, the last time I introduced Elsa to a guy, it didn't go over real well. And she wants to talk to her alone. Oh. So, Anna enters. Eventually, and, um, ugh, Elsa sees her, like, telling her to go away. So, they're singing, like... <laughs> And Anna's like, yeah, we can do this, we can do this. And Elsa's like, no, no, I can't, I can't. And yada, she yada, keeps yada. telling Anna to go back. Well, Anna explains that Arendelle is in an internal winter and Elsa needs to come back to fix it. And Elsa's like, I have no clue how to fix it. I don't know how to control my powers. So as they're going on, eventually Elsa accidentally hits Anna in the heart with her powers. Convenient. Which, if you remember earlier in the movie, it was better. It was the head and not the heart. 
Yep. So Kristoff and Olaf eventually come in to get on on. Elsa's like, just leave, just go away. Just let it go. And ha 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 ha. They're your jokes. Hey, my jokes are awesome. So basically, Anna, no, Elsa creates like an abominable <sighs> snowman that throws them out and chases them. Something's not cool. Yeah, and he's like, like get out! It, like, <laughs> he's not nice. It's a big rancor. Well, eventually, they end up going down the side of the cliff. Um, Kristoff looks at Anna and is like, oh my god, your hair is turning white and you need help. So he takes her back to the trolls. And what happened, I forgot to mention this earlier in the movie, the young Kristoff <laughs> and Sven followed the royal family to the trolls, and the trolls ended up adopting Kristoff as part of their family. And then they try to marry him. Yeah, so basically, it's another musical number when they get there that they're trying to get Anna yeah. and Kristoff together. That sounds, sounds cool. Yeah, but um, basically, eventually, the father, the papa... The papa! Troll, whatever. The, 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 the head troll shows up. The head of the troll. And he basically says the ice needs to be removed from Anna's heart, and she will... Or she will freeze forever, and only an, only an act of true love can help her. Why does that sound so bleh to me? So basically, Kristoff assumes I gotta go back to Hans for true love's kiss. I gotta, really? Just because my back hurts. Why does it have to be like that? So they take off trying to get back to the castle to get Anna back to Hans. Mm. In the meantime, Hans and the others are looking for Anna. Yeah. Right? And he orders, I felt like I was gonna get the hiccups. Oh. Hans orders no harm is to come to the queen. So as they get to Elsa's castle, the abominable snowman it starts fighting everybody. The two cronies from Weaseltown, which I'll just refer to them as that, kind of escape ahead to try to take care of Elsa. Eventually Hans gets in there. Um, Elsa's kind of defending herself. Hans kind of talks her out of hurting the one crony, but the other crony starts to aim a bow at her. Hans goes to stop her. It hits the chandelier. Elsa runs, but she gets knocked out and she's captured and then imprisoned back in Airedale's dungeon. And her uh -huh. hands are kind of covered with something to try to keep her from using her magic, which doesn't work. How does her feet use the magic? I don't know. Because she has shoes on. Yeah, they didn't worry about that. They just worried about her hands. Oh! Okay. But, um... Her and Hans are talking, and he's like, if you can end this winter, I'm sure we can get you forgiven. And she's like, I just don't know how to do it. So he basically thinks she's disagreeing with ending the internal winter. So um, Anna gets back to the castle. Kristoff orders her to be taken. D taken to get warm and find Hans. Um, they're discussing about true love and kiss. <laughs> And, like, everyone goes to leave Hans and Anna alone, and Hans basically looks at her and goes, you're such a fool. This whole true love... It's kind of making fun of the way a lot of Disney's movies are at this, at, at this point, because he's well, like... should. It's like, okay, you're, you're an idiot. You're agreeing to marry somebody after knowing them for less than a day. And, yep. and he's going on, like, his game plan is because he was a 12th in line. He has, like, 11 older brothers. So he knows where he's from. He's never getting to the throne. So his game plan was to come try to woo Elsa. Woo! When that didn't, wasn't going to work, he figured, well, he could get together with Anna eliminate Elsa, and then become king, basically. So basically, he's like, I'm going to let you die. You know, he's like, I don't care about you. I don't Sounds love like you. Sounds like he has a heart of ice. Yeah. So um, basically, he goes and like puts out the fire where Anna is and leaves the room and locks her in. <sighs> so he goes and announces to the person from Weaseltown and among other people that Anna has died. They did get to say their big vows before she did die. And basically, they're like, well, now you're the ruler, so it's up to you what happens with Elsa. And he basically orders that Elsa must die due to the death of Aunt Anna. That's pretty brutal. So we go back to Elsa, and she's basically freezing everything, trying to escape, including what's covering her hands. 
So she does eventually get everything frozen and breaks out and escapes, no pun intended. And um, we also see a side part with um, Christoph mm -hmm. and Sven. 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 Sven, I can't talk. And basically Sven makes him go, Christoph go back to um, Arendelle for Anna, but there, he also, Christoph, Christoph also sees a storm brewing. So he, they go back. Um, Olaf eventually gets to the castle after he like scared the crap out of somebody earlier when he was told to stay out of sight. And he goes like, oh, you're freezing. So he goes over and starts a fire <laughs> for Anna. And he's That's like, funny. and he starts melting and Anna's like, Olaf, you know, get out of here. And, That's funny. And he's like, oh, it's so pretty and more, you know, goofy stuff. So, um, Olaf does ask what happened with Han. She kind of, find, he finds, Anna explains what happened. And all, um, Anna goes, I don't know what love is. And Olaf kind of discusses what he feels love is at this point. And I think something else happens. And then he looks at her and goes, man, you don't know what love is. Pretty bad snowman. Yeah, the snowman, yeah, the snowman knows more than she does. So um, Anna's hair is still really turning white. And she's starting to get really, really cold cold she's cold um eventually as they're trying to escape the castle um olaf looks out and sees Kristoff's coming back so he's like oh this is you know this is the true love this is what we need so they try to get out of the castle to get to Kristoff. um yeah. basically yeah. then they're like out in the storm eventually Hans catches up to yeah. elsa everything kind of calms down at this point so you can see everything going on Anna sees Kristoff coming. She starts to head towards Kristoff, but then she sees Hans raising a sword to hit Elsa. So she goes that way to stop Hans from hurting Elsa. And in the process of saving Elsa, she turns fully to ice. She was frozen. And I and Hans' sword breaks. Should she be dead? You would think. So, um... And Next. prior to all this, El Hans is telling Elsa, like, this is all your fault that Elsa is dead. It's everything you've done. You weren't able to save her. So, um, Anna, or Elsa sees that what happened to Anna starts crying and hugs her. And this what happened, this it ends up melting Anna from being frozen because it was an act of true love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. So basically, Elsa learns love is how she can control her magic. So she ends up thawing the kingdom. Every <sighs> it's back to summer or spring, whatever, in Arendelle. And um, they at one point, then um, whenever they're done and on this boat at this point, because the water's all working again because it's not frozen, and Olaf's standing there like, "Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm melting." And he's melting. So Elsa gives him his personal little flurry cloud so he can be around in all kinds of you weather. Like that. Now it's happy because Olaf gets to hang out like he wants to. And then eventually Hans is on the boat and he goes, I thought you were dead. Your heart was frozen. And El Anna goes over and like punches him. So he falls off the boat. That and, was funny. and then he's basically thrown into a, a cell on a ship and he's going to be returned back for punishment from his brothers and his kingdom at home. And then also the person from Wesselton, Weaselton, whatever, um, they're basically like, we're not dealing with you anymore because basically you were treason against the queen. So he's being sent to his, back to his kingdom, I believe, for punishment. See ya. Um, and then it kind of goes to the end that um, Anna gives Kristoff the new sled, the latest model with cup holders. How would she know what the latest model is? I don't know. That's what she said. It was the latest model and it had a cup holder. And then... Um, Kristoff says about he could kiss her, and they do eventually kiss. Oh, how sweet. And then the ending, it's um, they open the gates to everybody, and then Elsa freezes <sighs> the ground so everybody can go ice skating, and it's all happy, and that's it at the end. So, like I said, I do like this movie, even though it wasn't... It's all right. It took it's cool. time to grow on me. Um, I'm hoping to go see the second one in the theater when it comes out. Yep. That was... The other reason we kind of watch this because we are hoping to go and see Frozen 2. How about scary, buddy? Well, like I said, I'll sneak in. Okay. So we're hoping to go see the second one. So we kind of want to watch this just to have it fresh in our mind. Um, yep. 
the trailers for it have been amazing. Oh, that's what's so. Really. I'm just hoping the trailers live up to what's going on with everything. Um, but sometimes they don't. Yeah. So who knows? I think it's going to be because it keeps showing like with Elsa being like the ice, and then the other side seems to be fire. So maybe we'll have wind. I don't know. We will see because there's like those big rock things that look like the abominable snowmen. Man, it's rock biter. Yeah, that we saw in this one. So, like I said, I'm really, really curious to go see it. <sighs> actually, I was very excited to see the trailer. And actually, I, I know a few people who said they weren't thrilled about Frozen, but they were actually excited about the trailers for this one. So, we'll see. Who knows? We'll see when it comes out. But yep. that's it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when we post new content. I'm digging the bell. I'm losing my voice. Help share the page. You should put that bell in. I can't find anything. I'm so not that crafty. Weird. Um, share the page. Greatly appreciate it. Check out my other channel, K Doll Games, Toys and More, Toy and Game Reviews. I have the hiccups coming on. Yep. This guy is sometimes over there. Sometimes. Sometimes. When you want me. Don't you want me, baby? Sorry. <laughs> um, Amazon Wishlist is posted if you would like to help us with any um, movies. If there's something you want us to review, let us know in the comments. If we don't have it and you're willing to get it for us, I'll add it. Yep, I will really watch it. appreciate it. So, um, I think that's it. Yep. So, we'll see you next one. Bye. Bye.